What's good sneaker watchers? Today we're in the heart of New York City to give you another dope sneaker unboxing slash sneaker review. You're not gonna get your average Jordan or your Nike basketball retro. This time around we got a special delivery straight from Nike Lab. And it's the Nike Free Hirachi Carnivore SP. Now with these Nike Free Hirachi Carnivores, you have a mashup of two different shoes combined in one. Now these also release in the all black colorway, but me personally I feel like this white on white is very clean and it's a dope shoe as well. Now when you think about the Nike Carnivore, which is one of the two shoes that is combined to create this shoe, you notice the straps on the midfoot, and you also notice the straps on the ankle as well. Along with the holes on the side of the shoe for a more ventilated fit and just a unique fit as well overall. And the whole thing about the Hirachi Carnivores is that it played off the theme of Jurassic Park the film that released back in 1993. Now moving along to the second shoe that completes this mashup of two, you have the Nike Air Hirachi. Now with the Hirachi, those were released back in 1991 and it was designed by Tinker Hatfield, a name that most of you may find familiar because he designed a lot of your favorite Air Jordans. Now the Hirachi twist you see on these free carnivores, the first thing that you would see is the inner booty that's completely removable. On top of that, the shoe sits on top of a 5.0 free sole that's very flexible and is, and is made to move with your foot for a more, a more free ride. All right, sneaker watchers, that was your review of the Nike Free Hirachi Carnivore SP. This colorway is a white on white colorway and it was also available in black on black when they released as well. Let us know what you think about this colorway. If you have the black colorway, or if you have both, it simply couldn't decide between the two. I've held flying at Air Forces in my hand. They've never come out yet. They might never come out, but I've held them in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the hell's coming out. All right, well, let's. I'll, I'll go through a few of the big releases this year that's coming out. That 45 shoot, people, I remember the auction, and, and it got up to something crazy, but like, now that person that has that shoe, that has that whatever, it's worth they it. just brought it back. And it's like, it's like you just completely killed a, a shoe that should have never been retroed. In my opinion, 